Ladies and gentlemen, guys and girls, my name is Raven and welcome back to my channel. Now, in today's video, we're going to be talking about the Warriors Den that happened last night. And it was a very short Warriors Den, but what they showed was pretty damn cool. And at the same time, a little bit frustrating. So what I'm going to do first up, I'm going to give you guys the news and all the details. And then we're going to get into the rant portion of this video. As you all know, I like to give my opinion on certain things. And I have a certain opinion when it comes to some of the pricing on the items, which I'm about to tell you about. So first of all, let's get into the news. So in For Honor right now, for the next two weeks, there is going to be a Halloween event. So apparently there's going to be some brand new mysterious like contract orders. Uh, the whole music's going to be changed to this whole spooky sort of theme. And all of the AI in the game, so all the normal minion guys are going to be turned into skeletons, okay? They look like these little pirate skeleton things, and I will say it is pretty cool. It's a little weird that they went with pirate skeletons, but it's still kind of cool. Now for the duration of the event, after you finish a game, whether it be anything except for versus AI in in 1v1s. If you play any other game mode and you finish the match when you normally get loot at the end, you have a chance to loot uh, these special spooky cosmetic item type things. Now from what I've heard and what they said, it's a battle outfit type thing, so you know different colors and that. I think there's ornaments and effects, I'm not too sure about that. But I know for a fact after you loot an item, you have a chance to get some free spooky cosmetic thing, which is pretty cool. Next up for the duration of this event, they have a brand new mode. It's called the Endless March. I really like that name considering, you know, it's all about skeletons and shit. That's really, really awesome. But when it comes to how the mode actually plays, it's pretty much just Dominion, okay? Except that it has a little bit of a twist on it. So the main way to win the game in Dominion normally is to capture the points and hold them. In the Endless March, the way that you win the game is you have to rack up a whole bunch of points. Now, the best way to get points is to kill enemy skeletons, okay? So the minions in the middle, capturing points on the side will only give you like temporary points they call it soft points and hard points but the main way you want to win is to just get into the middle and just kill skeletons you get a whole bunch of points for that and then you want to kill heroes which will get you more points and that's how you get your enemy into breaking and then you can win keep in mind though the skeletons hit like a goddamn truck they hit for something like 14 damage or something per hit which is quite significant especially when you're in the middle there and there's like 10 of them hitting you it's gonna hurt so be very careful if you're playing the endless march and you're gonna be versing these skeletons you know watch out and now we get into the cosmetic part of this okay so they have a brand new mask tab okay so everyone gets a mask now the way these masks work is the knights will get a special one it's like the skeleton mask with like all these flames that come up the uh vikings will get this sort of uh bog priest mask thing where you put it on and there's like these orbs that float around you it's pretty cool and the samurai get this whole oni mask with some horns okay and it has a new effect on it when you kill someone all these orbs come flying out of it and go into you it's like soul stealer or some shit now when it comes to the pricing of these masks like i said i'm going to be talking about this later on, but for the event, which is going for two weeks, okay, this Halloween event's lasting two weeks, these masks are gonna cost 15,000 steel, okay? And then after the event ends, you can still buy the masks, but they're going to cost 20,000 steel. And we will talk about that in a minute, but there is also another sort of thing that they've done for this Halloween event, but this thing is 100% exclusive to this Halloween event. So, for the first week of this Halloween event, you can't buy this thing. In the second week of this Halloween event, you can get this brand new emote called Howl at the Moon. Now, this thing is both cool and a little bit like weird and goofy at the same time in the way that they do the animations, but I like it overall. Now, what this thing does is it's a sort of emote where your guy sort of goes down and then uh, starts turning to a werewolf and how's the moon? This effect comes up above your head and it looks nice. Now, this thing will cost 10,000 steel, okay? And like I said, it's only available for the second week of this event. After that, who knows when it's ever going to come back, if it's ever going to come back. So make sure you save up some steel and you buy that thing on any of the characters you want in the second week. Now, keep in mind as well, it's not 20,000 steel and you get this for all the night heroes if you buy the night one. No, it's 20,000 steel per character. Same with the Howl at the Moon, it's 10,000 steel per character, so if you play multiple characters, this is going to be extremely fucking expensive for you. So when it comes to the news, that is pretty much it, okay? So we have this brand new event, it's gonna last two weeks, you can buy some masks, we have different effects, you can buy this Howl at the Moon thing in the second week and once that week is done, you can't get that thing anymore, so make sure you save up for that one. The masks you can get afterwards. And there's going to be skeletons everywhere in this brand new mode and everything to try out. It's going to be pretty cool. And now we get to the discussion part of this video, okay? Now, when it comes to the actual mode, no problem. I love the thing. It's going to be great. And I actually got to play it last night. It's pretty damn fun. No issue with the mode. I like the fact that they're putting these, like, you know, cosmetic things when you're playing the game and you just get loot at the end. One thing I fucking hate is, once again, they put the tournament mode RNG bullshit in it. So, if you're playing a game with, say, Berserker, if you get these random cosmetics at the end of the game as bonus loot, it's random 
random across what character you're going to get it for. I don't know why they keep pushing this RNG bullshit. If I'm playing Berserker and I only play Berserker, for example, at the end, I would like to get Berserker cosmetics, not just one for a Conqueror, which I've never played. People didn't like this shit when it was in the tournament mode. I don't know why they went and put it in again, knowing that no one liked this shit. That is the first thing I take issue with. But apart from that, I like the idea of getting this additional, you know, Halloween style loot at the end of matches. That is really, really cool. I just don't like the randomness of it. Now, when it comes to the mask, I really, really fucking hate the fact that they're 20,000 steel after the event ends. Even 15,000 steel is quite fucking expensive, especially considering you have to buy it for every single character. Like, holy shit. And secondly, the Hell of the Moon emote is also 10,000 steel. So let's just say you want to buy one mask and you want to buy one emote. That's going to cost you 25,000 steel during this event. What the fuck? Paying 25,000 steel just to get a mask and to get an emote is quite insane. And it sort of just ruins the whole event for me. I was looking forward to this. I'm like, oh, this is cool. You know, I'm going to jump in. I'm going to buy a whole bunch of masks for all these characters I want to play. I'm going to get these emotes. It's going to be great. And I thought to myself when I was watching this, I'm like, finally, Ubisoft is doing the right thing. They're putting something cool in for the players. And, you know, they're doing it to try and, you know, boost everyone's spirit. And it's going to be great. I'm, I was so for this. But of course, this is Ubisoft and they don't do anything without trying to gouge you for money. That seems to be the MO for every single company nowadays. This is pretty much just a cash grab. Let's be honest, okay? They put these masks in and instead of doing it for the players and making them like, you know, 5,000 steel or 2,000 steel, something like that, which is manageable. You can buy it for every single character if you want. It's not too hard to get. They go and just put this ridiculous price tag on it. So that way you have to buy steel. Let's be honest here. Like right now, I have 40,000 steel saved up. I can literally only buy probably two masks for two characters and I play about three characters or so. I can buy two masks and then I'm out of steel and then I have to grind up again. Or what I could do is go to the store and buy a whole bunch of steel and let's be honest here, one of these masks is like $10 worth of steel or some shit like that. The pricing on it is fucking ridiculous and they've done it on purpose because they want people to look at these things and go, these are pretty cool. I want them. I could spend all this time grinding for it or I could just go in and spend some money on some steel, get the steel, buy the mask. And let's not delude ourselves here. It's Ubisoft. That's exactly why they've done this and that's why the price is so high because they want people to buy steel packs. Instead of doing something good for the community as a good faith thing to try and boost everyone spirits and go, hey guys, thank you so much for sticking around and playing this game, even though most people have bailed by now. Here you go, guys. Here's a nice, cool event, and we're going to be doing more of these in the future. They decide to, you know, fuck us all in the wallets and try and take as much money as possible by making the price really high. But overall, I really like the event, and I like the fact that they're putting effort into this, and then, you know, they've done the skeleton things, they've changed up the music, all that sort of stuff is really cool. I like the fact that they put these masks in, and they have this brand new mask tab, but I'm not going to be touching that shit at all because it's way too expensive, and I'm not spending any money on this game in terms of steel. Buying one of these masks for one character is fine, but anything past that is just bullshit because it's way too expensive to buy this for even two characters. That's 40,000 steel after this event ends. That's crazy. But that is all I have for this video. So thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below and let me know your thoughts. What do you think about the fact that they have these brand new masks? And what do you think about the fact that they're so goddamn expensive? And let me know what you think about this event overall. And please share this video around and helps me out a fuck ton. And if you want to see more videos from me, please hit the subscribe button. I shall see you all in the next video. Have a good one, guys. If I bleed